What's going on, people? How you guys doing, man? So today we got something a little different for you guys. Today we have a PC building vlog, man. You guys know my PC has been messing up a lot lately with freezing on stream, losing the audio on stream, all types of crazy mess, which I think is the motherboard's fault. We don't know. Look at that GPU sag, good lord. Which I think is the motherboard's fault. We don't really know. I'm gonna sit in it anyway, but you guys know that I've been working on getting some new parts for my PC, which are right here. Oh lord. Hey, sexy. So uh, I want to say thank you guys for the love and support on the channel. It's going right back into the channel. So I'm going from going from a 4790K, which is in there, to a 8700K right there. Also, say what's up to my boy Ike. It's been cold outside lately, so I put him inside for the night times when it's too cold. So I'm going to put him back outside here in a minute. And uh, yeah, man, so that is going to be the vlog today. I'm going to take this thing apart. Also, check out this uh, mess. Oh, look at that. Hey. <laughs> then, hey. And uh, yeah, man, so look at this mess back here. So I'm taking everything out and redoing everything in my PC. It's going to be a nice long day. You guys are going to see uh, the outcome of it. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and install the CPU right now. These pins look really weird. Like, they're like slanted. You guys see this? They're like somewhat slanted. I don't, that's so weird. Is that how it is in the oven? I don't know. It's weird. So I'm going to actually see, make sure that my water block fits real fast before I go any further because I don't want to install everything and have no cooler for this damn thing. So I just took everything off right now. So set everything in there so far. But I'm going to put the CPU in there and lightly put on the water block just to make sure it fits on this thing. The screws fit. Uh, these are the screws right here. I got the screws to, you can see, the screws to fit right there. So I'm just going to make sure that the water block fits perfectly. So let's go ahead and place this thing gently. I'm a little bit nervous. so. Bear with me here, or the triangle right there, because that triangle right there, you gotta just gently place this thing, gently grasp it, so it's, it's in there, I'm nervous man, I'm sorry y'all, <laughs> I'm nervous as hell, so it's in there, right on there, so we gotta, we gotta put this thing down here, and then we gotta crunch, the, oh god, I hate this part so much, please lord, let this be okay. You gotta crunch this thing. Oh god, the sounds it makes. Oh, okay. It's in there. It's in there, boys. I have not done this in a long time. It's been like two, three years since I put a new, CP a new CPU in, so I'm a little bit uh, nervous. So let's go ahead and see if that water block fits. Hopefully it does. Ike over there making a ruckus again. Ike, what you doing, man? Anyway. So let's go ahead and see if the water block fits. Hopefully it fits perfectly. It will be Gucci. All right. So everything is uh, on there. It fits perfectly. Doesn't come in contact with anything. I was actually worried about this corner over here because everything's kind of clustered over here. But everything fits perfectly, man. Everything is this old RAM right here. My old DR3 RAM right there. I went back to Corsair because they didn't write with the warranty. And I got some more. That's all. It's under this, I can't look at it right now, but I see more Avengers right there. Yeah, it fits, man. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on forth taking this apart because I wanted to make sure this fits. I didn't wanna take this apart and then have no cooler for this thing and be like, oh crap, my PC is worthless now because I have no cooler for it. So, sweet. So, quick update I got all the wires out of here. I'm just gonna take everything basically out just because I wanna uh, review everything, get some better cable management and whatnot. So, I got everything. The hell up out of here, you know what I'm saying? So all the wires back here, this is all the stuff for the PC or the stuff up here pretty much. So I'm gonna leave these in because they just they're part of the case actually. Got my fan control over here. I took it out just because it's hard to get these cords back here. So I took it out just to kind of reattach them and make sure they're all connected. Alright, so I got all this over here, I got all these cables, I got these labels. Uh so you can see I got like one, one, one controls these up here, and I also have like the, let me see, these are thermal, oh, they thermal pads, I'm not sure you call these damn things, but like thermal something, they uh, put them somewhere, they detect the heat in that area, so I, I'll put like this thermal pad like somewhere in the middle of the, you know, in this area somewhere here, but yeah, pretty much, uh, we're pretty much done here, I'm gonna take the motherboard out now, there's nothing else in here really to, do. I got all the cords out of here. I kept these in here because they, like I said, they're attached to the actual case. Uh, my CD drive, like who has C drives anymore except me? <laughs> DVD drives. 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll come back to you guys with my motherboard in you. All right, so as I was taking all the screws out of my motherboard, got every single screw out. Come on, can you focus here, please? Please focus, 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 there we go. So this one over here, right here, will not come out. I think the screw behind it are, there's like, there's like it's like a double screw to these things. And I think the one behind it is like stuck to this one, so it will not come out. No matter how much I screw, <laughs> no matter how much I twist this thing, it's not coming out. I have no idea what to do right now because I can't see behind here. I can't see what's going on behind this to fix it. It's just, I can't see anything back there. So I don't know what is the problem. Uh, so I'll get back to you guys when we have this thing figured out. I don't know what to do right now. I don't, I really, I just, oh my God, this is, Ah, all right back guys. So I got this stupid thing out. So what happened was, you guys can see, back behind this screw, this thing is still here. Hold on, I can, let me get a better angle here. Hold on guys, it's kind of hard to record one hand. But uh, you guys can see the screw right here was keeping me, where did it go, I lost it. Right there, right there. This screw right here was keeping me from getting this out. So it's double, it's double screwed. So there's one right, this, that screw goes through that, can you focus, please? <laughs> Sorry, guys. For a first time vlogging, forgive me. Come on, come on. There, come on. there we go. See that screw sticking right there? That screw screws into the chassis of the case. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so this screw right there screws into this screw back here, and that screws into the chassis. So somehow I got stripped. So what I did was screwed a screw through the back of it, and can you focus? Good lord. All right, so I screwed this right here in the back of it to push out the mother's board. So that was uh, awesome, man. I was really pissed off that I couldn't get that out. So hopefully, now everything runs smoothly. So there you go, guys. Nice and clean, empty case. We are ready to go, my boys. All right, man. She's in there. I want to say sorry for my bad camera skills, y'all. I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's like turning dark outside, too. It kind of sucks, but uh, yeah. She's up in there, man. Everything fit just nice. Got the new... CPU up in there. Can you please for once just focus? Good Lord. Oh my God, now it's not gonna, okay. There we go, there you guys go. 8700K, my dude. So now I gotta put everything, now once not, come on, can you please? Please, there we go. <laughs> so now I gotta put everything back together, wire-wise. Uh, I'm gonna take my time with that because I don't wanna rush it. I wanna make sure I do everything right. It's gonna suck to have to uh, take everything apart. Hopefully, none of this is DOA. That would suck. But anyway, yeah, man. Everything's up in there. So now we gotta work on cable management to get everything nice and clean. And we are on our merry way. It's now nighttime. I've been kind of just taking my time with this, make sure everything's right. So we got mostly everything connected. I gotta show y'all some in the back. Don't laugh at me, all right? Don't laugh at me. But I found some cool ideas. At first, I had, to, I had my hard drive sitting right here, just kind of on top of something right here. Now, I'm gonna try this out. Don't laugh at me, I, I was trying to figure out a way to keep it up so it wouldn't fall out, but uh, I just kind of taped it. Uh, so, you see my SSD down here, right? There's actually slots for SSDs on this side of the of the of uh, this tape is gonna make me die. But anyway, there's actually slots right here for SSDs, right? So I took one of them out and the hard drive just barely fits in there. So you, you can't see it now, but, but behind this tape right here, I actually like wedged in another like wad of tape. So that's just kind of like secure in here. So now I have my hard drive totally out of the front hidden, but it's so janky. <laughs> but, um, but I'll figure out a way to, uh, you know, make it look better in the future. It's in the back anyway, so I don't really care, but this so, this so doesn't fall, I did this janky. <laughs> All right, so I got my RAM sticks in there. And then I got my, fo uh, I'm gonna say a folder controller, my f fan controller in as well, which added a butt ton more uh, wires, but it's all good. I got them labeled because I wanna know what I'm controlling. So I got four and I got like two right here. So, yep, so we got that in here. Now I think the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and install my water cooler. And I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything because it's been a while. Like I said, it's been, a, been three years since I rebuilt my PC. So hopefully everything, my hard drive over there, I might cover that up a little bit. But uh, 
Yeah, man. I'm trying to make it clean as possible. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to make it look real sleek and nice. So I'm trying my best this time to do some good cable management. Hopefully it's not DOA. But yeah, next time I install is that water cooler back here. And yeah, we'll be good to go. Can you focus please? Good Lord, there we go. All right, so update number 35,000. Uh, the water cooler is in there. You guys probably can't see this, but like it is super close to the wiring up there for the CPU uh, power plug is at, but it fits just barely. It's like nice and snug actually. You see up here, got a better glue. Actually, I take off the rubber piece of the fan up there to make it fit better, but uh, other than that, fit up here. And then also I made the hard drive a little better. You guys probably can see I got some clear tape here just to, just to make it secure, but I also found some double-sided tape to wedge in there so I got some double sided tape and it's nice and thick so <laughs> nice and thick so you know it makes it more secure you know what I mean so it's not going anywhere so that's in there and then now I got my other fans connected for my push to pull or push to pull push and pull set I got for my radiator and there's just wire everywhere man and I also got to connect the power to my CPU fan up here I also got to connect uh stuff to this thing i connect power to this thing so that's gonna be more plugs which oh my god i'm not sure i'm gonna put those things but anyway we're almost done man the only thing that's gonna suck about this is that i actually take my time on the cable management and it's doa i'm gonna be so pissed off this doa i'm gonna be so upset <laughs> but uh yeah so now i got nice and clean that was for earlier when i had wedged, wedged in between the hard drive so now it's gonna be nice and clean up front. I think I may get some double side tape for this right here and like maybe put something black right here to so it's kind of just you know, you know, you can't see anything back there at all. It'd be pretty cool. And I think that's it, man. I think next thing after this is to get some CPU throw paste for this guy here, put it on there, and then put the GPU in, plug it in, start it up, and see if it runs. And then I want to reinstall Windows. That's gonna be it. We're gonna be done for the day. Can you focus, please? Lord, there we go. All right, guys, see you soon. All right, so I'm about to boot this thing up real fast. Hopefully, no DOA. Hopefully, everything's connected right. But man, this is the best I've ever done with cable management. Man, it is so clean. You guys probably can't tell. I'll probably have to do another video in the daytime or something. You guys can see a better view of it. But man, I have never made anything this clean before. It is so much cleaner than my last build. Everything is so nice and tidy. But then you go to the back and it's just like, what the hell happened? Actually, it's not that bad. Actually, I actually did pretty well. Everything's kind of bulked up, right? That's where everything enters at. So it's a little bulky right there. But guys, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I put this lid on. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa. Okay. Cameraman, cameraman, cameraman. Get together here. What am I doing wrong? What's, what's jamming? Oh, right here. Get out the way. Move. Get out the way. Here we go. I just love it chilling because it's cold outside. Uh, <laughs> And then I, hold on, it just, hold on, I just had it, what happened now, what's going on? It just worked, hold on, <laughs> fail. There we go, okay, woo, there you go guys. Boom, a little bit, you know, I can't fix it, I'm sorry, I tried my best. But anyway, <laughs> it's, uh, you guys, it's just a little bit gap there, because cables are still, yeah, I might fix that later on, but right now, I'm cool with it for now, just because I got a lot of cables to deal with, and right now, I don't feel like, it's been a long day. So hopefully we can just keep on uh, chugging along. But uh, anyway, I got stuff everywhere in here because I've been just literally just been doing all types of stuff, but let's boot it up. All right, so everything's connected. The kitchen's a mess because I've literally been here all day doing a bunch of crap, but uh, that's on. I don't know if it's gonna indicate anything that is working. Probably not. Oh, I'm scared to boot up. Here we go, guys. Hopefully I connected the power button correctly and press the button. <gasps> What's, what, what, what was that noise? You guys hear that? Hello? Anyway, it works. The RAM's on. Everything's on. Oh, God. <gasps> Bro, look at the lights. Okay, that was weird. So I might have to. Oh, my God. This looks insane. This looks so crazy. Look at everything's red. Yo. All right, so ran out of memory. We are short on time. I have much memory left, but yeah, man, that's it. We did it. Got to change the stuff in software. Had the wind force red and everything else red, but look at this thing, man. Everything's lighting up. That's green, just throwing everything off. But uh, yeah, man, we did it. Got to change that as well. I'm going to probably cover that up somehow. Clean in the front. We are Gucci fan controller. I actually just, I disconnected the, uh, the thermal things that 
total temperature because they were kind of useless for me. But uh, yeah, got my finger control up there. I think everything is working. Let's turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. And then we should, if we, if we turn it down, so one is these up, up front. I turn it down, it should go dark. There they are, they're dark. And then I think three are these right here. It should go dark. No, wrong one. There we go, they're two. So now they're dark. I can light them back up again. And then light these back up again, my fat controller. Ah, there you are. So it's the next day, my dudes. How you guys all doing? Happy good morning. I uh, got the PC all set up software-wise. Got my streaming stuff set up, my editing software set up. I actually found me a piece of cardboard to put here. I don't know if I like it. It's kind of mad, but it hides that ugly hard drive. Uh, green color to it. Uh, I cleaned up the PC a little bit more. Also got the wire situated so it's not all bulging out on the side anymore. Got everything all situated with that. Still a little bit of a bulge right there, but for the most part, everything back there is way more clean. Just going to boot up for the last time before we call it for this uh, vlog, man. I hope you guys enjoyed so far. Oh, phew. Gotta turn on the power back here. Good lord. Come on, Ty, you noob. Hope you guys all enjoyed the vlog so far. Made it this far, man. Please type down below hashtag sauce pack or something. Something to let me know you watch this far because this is an awesome little vlog I did, man. I kind of make it darker in here. No Ike today, sadly, is outside where he belongs. So everything is all set up, looking nice and neat. I got the color waves on there now. <laughs> So change colors. I had this mother uh, motherboard, but the uh, graphics card red. But I, I don't know why it won't go red now. I have to wait till it gets in the windows. But I got my water cooler red now, and I got the motherboard changing color just for the video, you know. And then let's actually turn off. Or turn off this. It's gonna make it darker in here. Let's make it a little bit darker. You guys can kind of see. Man, wish wish my camera was better. This camera kind of sucks, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far, man. I want to say thank you guys again. Thank you guys so much for the love and support on the channel. Go ahead and close that a little bit. There we go. Everything perfect. <laughs> you guys have been showing so much love on the channel, man. I can't even say thank you guys enough. You guys are amazing. I would not be here without you guys, man. So thank you guys again. Thank you a thousand times for all the love and support. Uh, I will see you guys soon, man. We guys can see this all right. This camera sucks major ass, but just trust me in person, this looks amazing. But in this video, it's not gonna look all that good, but anyway, I will see you guys soon. Got one more last touch. I don't really like this doorway because it got all scratched up from all, all the years of taking it off and putting it back on, but put the door back on there. Okay, you're not gonna fit now. There's no cords here. There we go, all right. Got the door back on there. The PC is now complete. She is now ready to go. Again, guys, thank you. I'll see you all soon. Have a nice day, nice life. Peace. Can you focus, please? Thank you. Peace. <laughs> I'm out of here.